Hi, my name is Jay Pagliacci. I'm uh, one of the partners at Sonova Dental Studios in Watford, along with David Bloom. We've been using a laser in our practice now for well over seven years. Uh, we first got into lasers as a result of doing a lot of cosmetic work with veneers. And the great thing about the laser is that you can really fine tune the gingival margins. Those, those gingival zeniths and emergence profiles make all the difference with a laser. It's so much more predictable as well with the end result you get compared to, say, a scalpel, where you, get a lot of, where you can get a lot of scarring, a lot of, um, a lot of tissue tear, um, and a lot of blood as well. Or an electrosurge, where even though you're burning the tissues, um, you can still get some rebound um, as a result of using that. With a laser, what you see is what you get. The other great thing with a laser is that it actually handles like a handpiece. Um, um, and it only works when you actually touch the tissue. It only gets rid of soft tissue, it doesn't affect hard tissue, so, so there's no ancillary damage to surrounding structures. Um, even if you're not doing cosmetic work, it's still really great for even your routine restorative dentistry, whether it's um, troughing out sulcuses to give yourself some really accurate impressions, or um, those cases where you have a patient coming in, um, the, uh, they've got a cavity, the ginger is overgrown in that cavity, how easy is it to use a laser? So straightforward, no blood again, Patients are very, very impressed as well because it's obviously very high tech. And you say you actually get the laser out, I think, oh wow, yeah, this must be a practice which is, uh, which is forward thinking and moving forward with the times. My name is Payman Langrudy, I'm practicing in, in the city of London. I got my diode laser uh, recently, but uh, I, I have bought uh, several other pieces of equipment from them. And what I like about uh, what they do is that uh, the, the equipment's honestly priced um, and it works. I mean, I, I bought my camera 10 years ago. Um, still still going well and the, the main reason for getting the diode um, was for gingival contouring the reason I bought it was for, for cosmetics but I'm using it much more than I thought uh, the endodontists use it the periodontist uses it the uh, oral surgeon uses it um, the lots and lots of applications which are very useful when it comes to soft tissue management gingival contouring hemostasis those are the three main things it's uh, portable um, and I, I went through the online training session and got new skills and, and new new uses for the, the equipment that I didn't realize that, that, that I was going to have. Um, I looked at several other uh, lasers on the market, but what I found is what you want from a laser is simplicity, something that isn't going to break down the, the, the minute you get it because it's too complicated. And, and so uh, it has the presets on there which are very useful, um, it, all in all a, a really nice piece of kit. The work I do is mainly cosmetic. Um, I, I do do general dentistry, but uh, try and limit the work now to, to cosmetic. And, and, and that, that's why I've uh, been looking at lasers for, for generally the contouring that, that you can get for the veneers. My name is James Gilnick, uh, Vice President of the British Academy of Cosmetic Dentists. I've had the quick laser for four and a half years now. I have to say it's one of the best business equipment I've ever bought. Uh, the main thing about it is it's, it's small, it's portable. We have six surgeries here and it's actually great that we can move from surgery to surgery uh, really easily. And it's been dropped uh, a few times, so it's in one piece. So it's glad he hasn't had to fix it yet, which is good. Um, the thing I use, I use it for virtually everything. I, we actually, one of my associates borrowed it for a day at another practice and I felt sort of a bit naked without it because whenever we're doing any preps, a bit of bleeding, just sap it really quick. Retraction cord, we still use, but not as much. Uh, we don't use electrosurge at all anymore after using the laser. Uh, use it for ulcers, it's really good. We've had some receptions with ulcers, and you actually don't need to actually touch the ulcer. You can do it without local anesthetic. You can just waft it around, and it seems to uh, kill the bugs, and it's much, much better. So uh, it's great for that sort of thing. But the main thing really is, every time we're doing any preps, any aesthetic work, any way of just little trimming the gums, you don't get any recession afterwards. It's much more comfortable, no swelling. Patients really love it and it's really high tech, they like the goggles going on and everything else and uh, so I would say it's a good bit of investment. I can't see any modern practice working without some sort of laser. It's portable, the backup's good, buying direct from the manufacturer always, always gives you peace of mind because uh, there's lots of dealers that will sell you the thing and then not support it correctly. My experience has always been that they've got trained engineers and, and always happy to help. The aftercare is really a, a big part of it as, as dentists know. And I'm uh, Edward Feloshevsky. I've been using the laser for a couple of years now. And um, I find it very good indeed, very good indeed. Just having the laser in the building has raised um, um, patients' awareness of what we do and people are quite excited. Oh, we've got a laser, what do you do with it? Does it work? Is it going to be good for me? Uh, can I have a go? Um, 
And it's been very interesting to talk to people about the lasers and explain uh, what we can do, what we can't do, and it's generated more um, revenue for other private procedures. I think we find that um, we use it for uh, things which we couldn't um, do before so successfully, such as phrenectomies. Uh, the fact that you get such a bloodless um, result and a quick healing has been uh, extremely uh, satisfying to the patients. They, they, they love to be able to come in, have the treatment and go home with minimal or no, no pain. They also love going home with uh, very little uh, problems with uh, post-op anaesthesia because they've got um, it's just uh, you know, no anaesthesia at all, it's just a topical gel. Uh, seems to do the trick for nine out of ten people. Uh, the results uh, are very good, long, long term they're very good. Naturally the um, patients have to still look after their hygiene. Um, we used it for phrenectomies, we used it for gingerectomies, we used it for uh, apocalectomies. I've used the um, uh, laser for um, curataging out uh, deep pockets uh, and uh, that's been successful for many people. We've used it also for um, troughing around uh, the margins uh, prior to um, uh, the crown preps or at the impression stage uh, to get a more bloodless um, uh, field. And I like the bit I like most about it is the actual um, putting it over a, a bleeding socket and getting good coagulation after an extraction. Uh, it's very useful if uh, somebody has a bleeding problem, uh, for instance, say, you know, you're worried about their, and they're on aspirin or something like that, you're worried about the bleeding. Uh, I found that very helpful indeed. That's the most uh, beautiful uh, thing to see when they, when they just stop bleeding. Yeah, I've tried different lasers from different companies. I tried the very tiny ones, um, which I was a bit worried about the... Um, because um, there wasn't a fan to get rid of the, 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 the heat and I was worried, worried if that was going to overheat. I tried some very large uh, lasers which um, uh, seemed to be huge and would take up a lot of space in the, in the surgery. Uh, I wasn't keen on lugging those around from room to room. Uh, and um, when I plumbed on the S laser, I found that just about the right size. Um, looked good, uh, nice uh, packaging. Um, patients uh, you know, were quite Im impressed with it. I uh, found also that the um, uh, the the service was very good. Yes, I had a few teething problems to start with with the with the, with the cable that was sorted out very uh, speedily, uh, and any updates and upgrades are done very promptly. Um, they send me a lot of information to to pass on to patients, sort of uh, um, brochures and and, and, and uh, leaflets, uh, which has stimulated a lot of interest and excitement among the patients. I've had the quick blaze four and a half years. The only thing I've ever done was actually, as you use it, the cable gets shorter and shorter because you're having to splice it. And obviously I bought a new one, so I've had two cables uh, since then. I've actually had nothing go wrong. I said we have dropped it five or six times. Uh, but apart from a few dents, it's fine. So I actually haven't had it serviced. In my theory, it's a great thing and the quick laser has been great for us. Hi, I'm Mervyn Drone, uh, co-partner of the London Centre for Cosmetic Dentistry, together with my partner Ken Spector. And uh, we're a very cosmetic or aesthetic sort of centered practice uh, there's no such thing as a specialist as such but we do high level high end dentistry a lot of cosmetic dentistry a lot of tooth whitening a lot of veneers and uh, and this laser system absolutely fits into the profile of our practice it has helped take us to another level um, I've been using lasers ever since they were introduced to the UK in dentistry and for doing cosmetic dentistry it's brilliant because you want to do a little bit of tissue contouring, some gingival removal, um, crown lengthening, the laser's been fantastic. Having used electrosurge before, which was often a little bit messy, you didn't know if you were going to get more shrinkage, so you'd have to bring the patient back a couple of days later. With the laser, it's you can do it at the same visit that you prepped. The margins don't change, certainly not in my experience. It's been fantastic.